Hello everybody. Today we're going to look into and explore the abandoned Forest Haven Hospital. <laughs> Forest Haven is built in 1925. It's located in Lowell, Maryland, and it was mostly used to help people develop useful life skills. And it was also known to be very, very progressive. Eventually, the building became quite overcrowded and living condition became intolerable. After multiple investigations and a couple of deaths, it was finally shut down in 1991. After an extensive research, I found out about the geography of the place. On one side, it appears that there's a military or at least a government base that is located. And on the other side, it looks like just basic security that is stationed there. Doing a little bit more research, I found a secure way of how to get inside which was quite surprising since there was a government facility on one side and a guard post on the other, but it was fairly easy to get inside. And again, I was really, really surprised. After going through a few buildings, I came to a realization that the place had been explored a few times and I even ran into a few people while I was there which again um, had me quite surprised that the security was really lax, but in a way I was kind of happy too because, you know, I didn't have to deal with any issues, at least in the beginning that is. As I kept exploring, I noticed the graffiti in each building and it wasn't a good kind either. It seemed like it ruined something for me. I thought it was going to be a bit scary, even though they did warn me that I should go at night. I decided to go to the daytime since, you know, the guard shack and the government building next door. I didn't want to get caught and go to jail. But it does seem like the hospital is modernizing a way. Some of the equipment does look like it would be in our hospitals today. So in that aspect, I was quite surprised. I thought... We would see things like in horror movies from like the 1920s, but it could just be my ignorance. The more I kept going, the more it felt like I was on a trail or even a hike. It didn't really give me that eerie feeling that you're supposed to have when you're at a location that is suggested to be haunted. Well, until I got to the church or what was left of it. It just felt colder than the other rooms. It felt like I was being watched the entire time that I was in there. And honestly, I just wanted to leave. All the other buildings were just graffiti and more so trash and old equipment everywhere. But here, it felt like there was definitely somebody there watching me. So, out of all the buildings, I would say definitely check that one out. The other building that might get your heart racing a little bit, not because it's scary or anything of a sort, is the juvenile center. You are extremely close to the open and can easily be spotted by either a guard or somebody just patrolling the area. So I would say out of the majority of the buildings in that compound, those are the two that might get you a bit excited. Overall, Forest Haven is not a bad place to explore, especially if you're starting out exploring. It has mid-tier security at best, and you get to see a lot of things from the past. I might not enjoy the graffiti or the fact that the place has been explored a lot, but it is a good place to start off with. If you're in the DC metropolitan area, or even in Maryland, and you're an Explore fan, I would say definitely check it out. It has a lot of history behind it, and I would say look into that as well. It will shock you on what happened there and the horrific things that was done to other human beings. Thank you for checking out my video. It means a lot to me. Please also like, subscribe, and share. 
as it would help me out in the future for future videos to get more views. Also, if you've ever been to Forest Haven or have any interesting stories about the place, please put it in the comment section below. I would love to check it out. As usual, until next time, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.